Hello guys, today I'm going to um, show you more of a continuation of my last video on how to make a simple web browser in Visual Basic 2008 or 2010. Um, basically, all I'm going to show you today is how to you know, make it more customizable. Okay, first, go ahead and open up Visual Basic. Um, then make a new project. Uh, Windows form application, name it whatever you want. Um, if you haven't watched the last video, the codes will still be in the um, sidebar. Okay, so go ahead and resize your form. And this time, instead of adding a um, panel, add a tool strip. And then on the tool strip, add four buttons, a text box, and a, another button. And um, these, uh, go right click them, um, set image, import, and go to the file that um, has your pictures that you're going to use. I rec I would recommend ping. Um, ping. Um, and if you don't like your buttons that small, um, in your Solution Explorer, um, where it says image scaling size to fit, uh, turn it to none. Go ahead and do this to all of mine. And then go ahead and um, just set the images for all of your buttons. I just realized I do not have a home button. Um, a a uh, good place to get the um, icons, uh, where I would recommend, would be um, iconspedia.com. I'll put a link in the sidebar. Okay. Um, you can uh, resize your tool strip or um, text box, so you're you have enough. Um, oh, maybe it's too big. Have um, enough room to actually put in a whole URL. Okay, then um, add a web browser and double click on your back button and type in the same codes from before uh, web browser one dot dot go back um, forward is web browser one dot go forward uh, refresh is web browser one dot refresh uh, home is web browser one dot go home And your go button is web browser one dot navigate open parentheses text box one ooh uh, text box one dot text something I forgot to tell you to do to use that same code um go back to your forum click on your tool strip. And then the Solution Explorer, on the name, take off Toolstrip. Or in the code, just add Toolstrip, whichever one is easier for you. Okay, then um, debug it. And there you go. And basically, just a more... Oh, whoops. A more 
custom web browser. See, everything works. Okay, um, a few more things you could do. Um, on you click on your um, web browser, and where it says URL towards the bottom, put in a website, and that will be your home page. Um, and your you can rename your form. Simple web browser. You can even change the icons that will be in the. Let's see. Use the icon from a previous um, program I have made. Um, and if you debug it now, you'll notice that um, it still will. You know, that's all good. And if you um once you have published it, if you want it to have that same icon, uh right click on um your um, project in your solution explorer. I'm gonna add existing item and go to your uh, icon file. Oh. Make sure you change it to all files. Okay, and then uh, go to Properties, right-click your project, and where it says Default Icon, just change it to Browse or your icon name. And then save it, and you're all done. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and um, very soon I will be posting how to make a tabbed web browser, uh, it, you know, uh, advanced web browser. Um, thank you for watching once again, and I hope to see you again.